How is it going everybody? I'm actually getting on here today and we're just starting this new dynasty. Um, one of the guys in our group has started this and I figured what I would do is I would just go through and kind of uh, show everything about uh, creating these things and how it goes about with uh, when you make a dynasty and um, I'm just going kind of from start to finish, just taking a whole nother spin on it uh, so that you guys can kind of see what all goes into it here. And uh, anyway, just kind of making the uh, new coach here. Of course, I'm going to be going with my usual, um, my usual stuff with my playbooks and um, using my custom playbooks for offense and defense going with normal settings here and it's been stuff that's worked pretty well for me and let me just go ahead and updating my information here. Now this is a three star dynasty so um, you can pick a team with three stars or less in it and uh, that would be your starter team so let's just take a look at every team that's available here really quick. I usually start out pretty hard. Now, I could go with Buffalo. I mean, with Colorado Buffaloes again, I'm not going to. I kind of want to do something challenging, but I always like having a, a school with a big stadium to start out with just because I feel like it's a little bit more challenging. Um, also, there's some of these smaller schools are a little bit easier to recruit to than others, you know, and part of that is stadium size. Oh, gosh, who do I want to go with? I normally go with the starter team out west, too. That's the big thing. Let's see here. SMU's already been picked. That's why I see that. Okay, never mind. I'll bet you Boiler goes and picks Purdue. <laughs> That's going to be his MO big time. Nevada could be fun. North Carolina State could be a fun one. I've played some offlines with North Carolina State. I just don't like their unis all that much. They got some pretty cool ones, but still, it's just I don't, I don't really like them. Kansas State, they don't have the really cool ones that they have. They don't have the white helmet or anything like that, so that sucks. Gosh. Let me see. Let me see. I've done one with Fresno State before, so I really don't want to do that one. Uh, oh, jeez. Who do I want? Who do I want? BYU is probably the best team on here. I don't want to do that, though. Good grief. I'm just like, I'm so indecisive about this stuff because it literally can make or break you depending on who you pick, where they are, um, and then, of course, who is around you. <laughs> so, I'm going with North Carolina State. We're going to take the Wolfpack back up into their former glory that they had in the early 2000s. Very early 2000s. Look at the 90s for them. Um, not incredibly great, but, um, you know, they have experienced some success from... 86 to 94 and then from I guess you could say 2000 to 2003 they were had a pretty good run but 
We're going to go there, and we're going to get with North Carolina State. Start this off, get rolling, and uh, we're going to go with some coaching stuff here. He's been pretty generous, giving everybody five points. I normally give everybody one point to start out with, so that's cool. But I got Matt Cannon as my offensive coordinator, so that's pretty cool. And I've got Dave Huxtable as my defensive coordinator. So let's go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and start redshirting some guys here and see what we can get put together. So. They got two senior redshirt quarterbacks, which is Jacoby Brissett and Garrett Lethem. So, obviously, a big need this year is going to be at quarterback. They've got a ton of running backs. Ah, uh, jeez. So, we're going to have to... Man, that sucks. So... Yeah, I'm probably not going to need a recruit a running back for a couple of years, which is a bummer. Uh, geez. Got some pretty good tight ends. This is working out pretty good so far. I'm not having a whole lot of issues where, I, like this right here, where I've got a senior and a junior red shirt behind them. Oh, goodness. Let's see here. Actually, let's go back and do this. Good Lord. So, we're just basically trying to make this class last as long as we possibly can. But basically what we're trying to do is just buy a couple guys a little bit more time to they don't have a right outside linebacker. <laughs> That's going to be a bummer for me. Okay. But basically we're just trying to buy some time in recruiting. <clears throat> and we're also trying to um, give these guys a little bit more time to grow so that we can be better with not very good players. And uh, that's pretty much the goal here. So... We're going to go and start our recruiting board here. So, here we go. Proximity is pretty close to this guy, so yeah, that's a good one. Ugh, gosh, I'm gonna still try to go after this guy. Let's see here. Obviously, quarterback was one that we need to focus on, and I'm gonna go after this dude. I'll just stick there for a second. Oh, goodness. It's very hard to pass up a chance to take a running back. I'm going to try this guy. If it doesn't go, it doesn't go. Wide receivers. Here we go. Okay. So, just to show you why that I go off my suggestions, uh, this is why. My best option at wide receiver is 327. I know I can get someone way better than that. Uh, fact. <laughs> so, let's see here. Oh, jeez. That's ugly. I'm 
try that guy. I'm gonna try that. Hopefully winning a couple of games will change his mind. Let's see. I would love to go in and take that guy from Miami, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it. Let's see. So now we'll just kind of start building up off of uh, what we're going to be allowed to go after or what it suggests that we go after. Um, let me see here. Trying to get a lot of defensive guys. There's just not a lot of options here. We're going to fill up the board the rest of the way and then kind of go from there. So, that's our board. Pretty good one. Just going to be uh, really excited to get this dynasty started so we can get things underway and, and see what all that, uh, you know, this thing has to offer. We're still going to be doing the Colorado Dynasty, of course. Um, you know, we're just going to be doing the North Carolina State Dynasty. So we'll be getting more videos out there and a lot more, uh, you know, a lot more fun stuff coming out the way and uh, getting a lot more uh, content on this new channel uh, that I've started here. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get back up to where we were at with the old one. So. You know, y'all just keep on coming back and we'll have some good stuff for you. Just go ahead and try to reset that for a second. Seeing some bust in here. Okay. Bump that guy down. Bump that guy down. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for the first video for this new chapter in our online dynasty saga. I hope you guys keep coming back and uh, seeing, you know, the new stuff that we're going to be putting up on the channel on uh, a weekly basis, especially now that we've got two dynasties going. We're just going to take a look at what we're starting with here. Um, I'm going to go to my recruiting strategy here real quick. So, I don't want any assistance. I don't want any assistance at all. <clears throat> so, that way I have complete control of my board and I'm not wasting points that I could be putting towards better players and uh, other things. So, we're starting out 
just to kind of see. This is what I want to do here. Is I want to show y'all how where we're starting at and where we're going to end up at. So as you can see, a lot of B's and a lot of C's. So this is a pretty even starting point on a lot of this stuff. So we'll be able to um, really kind of get an idea about how this is going to play out. Up to number 26 in the fourth year is what the expectation is. Of course, with my recruiting, we should, that should be top 10 in no time after a year or two even. That 16 grade is going to be a top 5 graded team, um, especially with North Carolina State and them being in the ACC. So atmosphere, we're going to look at this. Our max capacity attendance is more than the Colorado Dynasty, so we're at 57,583, which is pretty good. So I'm cool with that. Um, the pro potential, uh, that's going to be, ooh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. One, three, and seven for North Carolina State. So um, academic prestige, um, that's going to be a rough one right there. Uh, <laughs> program tradition, as you can see, they're 16 games above 500. They've got two games above 500 in their bowl record, no national championships, and seven conference championships. So it's going to be fun to see how we can get that one moved around. Television exposure is a B-. minus. Athletic facilities are a C+. Plus. Coach stability, that'll go up as I continue to stay or not with them. My prestige is going to go up on a weekly basis, obviously, whenever I go and uh, keep uh, keep on keeping on there and, and uh, doing a good job there. And uh, I'm going to grab nothing on that. Let's see here. Also, we've got a C- minus at Campus Lifestyle, which... And I'll get better as we play better. So, anyway, guys, until next time, see y'all then.